Inconsistency is one of the common quirks and little jokes there is about natural hair. They say sometimes your hair comes out good, you use the same products, and the hair comes out bad. And so today's video is really focused on helping you to get more consistent results with your hair so you don't have to sit up there sweating and hoping and praying that your hair comes out good on wash day. Hello everyone, Kayla here, and this is What The Kink, a natural hair channel where I share my personal hair journey and tips, tricks, and product reviews to help you with your own. Starting right off before you even do your hair, you can help to increase the consistency of your results by focusing on your products. And I'm not telling you to actually get a specific product, I'm actually telling you to stick with products. Jumping around to different products like you see us YouTubers doing is a recipe for disappointment and inconsistency. Um, you take, for example, someone like my husband who was in a video not too long ago. He uses the same product every single time that he does his hair. And the amount of times that he has been unsatisfied with his hair, he can probably count on one hand, okay? And probably not even using all the fingers. Whereas me, I make YouTube videos. And so part of that is experimenting with different products. And sometimes those products don't work out so great. And I don't like the way my hair comes out. Um, so decreasing the amount of trying products is definitely going to help. And then also paying attention to what's in those products. What are the types of stylers that work best for your hair? Um, I know that really high humectant stuff, it's got to be used in conjunction with something else for me because it's humid once I step out this Florida door and I know that my hair is not going to last. Also, I know that those type of styles tend to, um, stylers tend to reactivate and make boogers on my hair. I know that already before I even crack the product open. And also familiarize yourself with some of the ingredients that provide hold. I know that if PVP is the primary ingredient that provides hold in a product, it is not going to work that great for my hair. Um, typically when there's PVP as the main styler in a product, my hair expands. It tends to look ashy, um, like there's a coating on it. Um, there tends to be flakes. Uh, and it just does not really retain definition. And I already know that. So definitely getting consistent with your products from the actual products themselves and the ingredients in them is going to go a long way towards increasing the predictability of your hair. Okay, two things that can help you be more consistent when it comes to the actual styling part of your wash and go, your, your, your set. So first of all is the parting. So I consistently part my hair in the same way every single time because I'm controlling the amount of hair and thus controlling the outcome of my my finished look. So if I'm applying the primer product, I'm always going to apply it from here up and the whole section and then I'm always going to open it and apply some here and apply some here and then do a little bit of water to squish it through. I do this every single time. It does not matter because it controls the where the product is going. Also, if I'm doing my hard hold gel, I always take the top part of my finger, put it here and cut across. So that the sections are the same size every single time. Okay? I know this sounds like it's like really, really tiny, but it, it definitely makes a difference. Um, another part is the application of the product, like how much product you apply. You could also be really consistent here. One thing that I like to do when I'm applying product is um, kind of have like a couple of set scoops or ways that I get product. Almost everything I use is in a jar. If you use a pump product, pay attention to how many pumps you use to get the result that you want and then repeat that pump. Do the same amount every single time. But um, if I'm applying something where I want it to be like a primer product, I do a scoop. And it's always a scoop that kind of covers the top part of my fingers, you know? So it's a big scoop. It's the same amount every single time, every single time. And then as I told you guys, I always part my hair once I do that. Now I do the scoop a little different when it comes to the inside. So of course I don't need that much product. So I'll do kind of a mini scoop. Again, it's kind of covering the top parts, the, the a little bit less. So it's about half the amount of product. It's a weird, it's like a mental thing. I know what I'm talking about and whatever this is for you and your application, 
find the equivalent and do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in and get the exact same amount. See, I'm patrolling it. Same thing, deep scoop. And I'm applying it to the inside because that's typically where it ain't going to be no broader bit because my hair thick. Now it's a little different when I apply um, the products in the small rows, so give me a second and I will talk a little bit more about that. So with the one inch rows, right? So I typically only do the very tips of my fingers and then I kind of flatten the product a bit, at, you know, just to kind of further stop any more from, from coming up. It looks almost the same as I just put on the big section, but trust me, it is less product. And I typically will do that two times per section. Um, however, if I end up getting down the section and I feel like it's just a little bit more product that's needed, then I'll either try to take it from the back of my hands or I have another dipping technique where I do two fingers, same thing that I just did, and do this. So find whatever the pattern is and how you apply your product and notice it so that you can repeat it and get more consistent results you are much more likely to get consistent results from your wash and go when you dry your hair with heat. Air drying is popular. I know the air dry gang is strong, but your hair tends to dry more soft and you are more likely to have a little bit more frizz when you air dry your hair. Also, if you live somewhere humid like I do, your hair is less prepared uh, against the humidity um, if you are someone who does air dry before you go out into extremely humid weather. So using heat, I know some of you guys don't like it, but it is going to ensure that you get that perfect wash and go every time. So I get it, all of this can seem really overwhelming and like it's so many little moving parts to pay attention to, but start small. Decide that you're gonna take one thing from this video and you're gonna focus on just that thing until it becomes uh, second nature to you because that's what all of these things are to me. These are things that I do automatically and I don't think about them on a regular basis, but they do come together and create a more consistent result for me. So I am less likely to do my hair and I don't like the results. And of course, let's talk about increasing results with some changes that you can make to your regimen to make sure that your hair gets the most definition possible. Maybe you have a special occasion. I'm gonna link that video here. And then I'm going to give you guys my wash and go routine that I use to get super defined hair. Subscribe, I post videos every week, and I will talk to you in the next one.